a limit day. One, two, three, four, a limit day. <laughs> I'm Gary and I'm an attorney. I am looking for a woman who is outgoing, very friendly, athletic, and very independent, low maintenance, and who has her own career. I've never been on a date before with four women at the same time. Maybe in the same night, but not at the same time. A limit day. <laughs> We're hanging outside in the shadows of historic Fenway Park, and I think it's a great place to meet a few ladies. Right off the bat, I'm trying to find the girl who's uh, not too uncoordinated, who likes to play games, who's a bit competitive. I'm looking for a gal who can be a lady, but still shows a little competitive streak. I'm a perpetual optimist, and I always have fun, so boredom is not an option. Hi, I'm a station, I'm an e-business rep, and I guarantee that this guy has never met anyone like me. Hi. Hey, what's up? <laughs> nice to meet you. Gary. <laughs> nice to meet what's you. What's your name? Aspasia. When Aspasia walked up, uh, the first thing I thought was very attractive. I have the three Bs. I'm beautiful, I'm brainy, and I'm built. I'm Rebecca, and I'm a makeup artist. Oh, yeah. I like it, don't I? Hey, how Hi. are you? I'm Rebecca, how I'm are you? I'm Gary, nice Gary, to meet you. Pleasure. When I saw Gary, his back was towards me. Of course, I observed the fact that he really had a nice backside. Let's just say she uh, has quite a presence and made quite an impression. The kind of guy I'm looking for is strong, athletic, and funny. I'm Karen. I'm a personal trainer and kickboxer. Strength, endurance, power. I'm going to crush these other girls. Bring it on. <laughs> how are you? Hey, how are you? Gary. Gary. And your How name? are you? I'm Karen. Karen, nice, nice to, meet, to you. meet you. I like Hi, this sweater. You. Guys, yeah. you can huddle up a little bit because it's kind of <laughs> chilly out today. Is it? Wow. Yeah. Don't know about that. It's windy. This is when my nipples pop. Really? Yeah, it's oh, nice and chilly like this. I don't see. Can I see? No. You really want to give it all away right like that? Always. Okay. When I'm like that, just They're like that. Is that real fun? <laughs> Mine is cool. <laughs> I'm going to knock all these other girls out of competition because I'm going to give him my package, and by the end of the day, he's going to want to give me his. I'm Sharon. I work in a major department store on fragrances here in Boston. Hi. Hey. Sharon. Hey, Sharon. Nice to meet Gary, you. How nice are to meet you? you? When Sharon walked up, I was, uh, I thought, wow, this, this keeps getting better. Wow. Like, this couldn't have been the perfect date for me. He is totally my type. So after I got a chance to meet all the girls, we took a stroll up Lansdowne Street, past the Green Monster Fenway. So, Gary, tell me about yourself. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer, yeah, really? You work here in town? Yeah, how about you? You're about on Lansdowne Street? No, 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 hmm. downtown, Beacon Hill. Okay. I'm a makeup artist. You're a makeup Travel artist. all over New England. My first impression of Rebecca, flaming orange hair at me. The red hair has got to go. We actually have a lot in common. I'm in the same industry. You're a makeup artist too, Sharon? Yes. Sharon, skin orange. She's a makeup artist. I think that, that does contradict. Oh, I'm an e-business rep. E business rep. Right? <laughs> it's what do you do? No content. I'm a personal trainer. You are? Sorry, I just wanted to laugh because she has a flap stomach hanging over her belt. I, I don't know. You know, maybe, what did she train like 10 years ago for two weeks? After we took a stroll around Lansdowne, I took the ladies over to Jillian's. What I was really looking for in the girls here at Jillian's was to see how they interacted socially. Were they flirtatious? Were they reserved or shy? We're gonna, uh, who wants to play ping pong? I do. We all shall. Everybody wants to play. Who's not good at ping pong? I'm good at ping pong. I'm really not good. I'm really You're not good. good? good at it. All right, well, I'm all right, so you're going to be my partner. All right. Oh, and since you're the coach, you're going to help out these guys. Okay. So, all right, let's I guess get over there. Come on. Yeah. Gary and I were making a lot of eye contact towards each other. Yeah. Ball girl, go get the ball, ball girl. Oh, we need another ball. <laughs> go get the ball. I was just like, oh, oh, I'm not running after anything. Girl, I don't know who she thought she was. Come on, let's go. Oh, you got to hey, hit the ball. It's got to be one bounce. I don't hit on two. Yeah, come on, girls, let's go. Let's get a warm up. Show me what she needs to work on. Swing, you like a bounce. <laughs> Show me what I need no to work on. You don't show, me, show me what she needs to work on here. Like, I don't need to work on anything. I am fine. I how, I how, are these, how are these abs right there? I these are right? Not really. I see you. 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 I see
what guy would not enjoy a former Playboy bunny getting on a table and sprawling herself out and showing off her goods? I think that Rebecca lying on the table was kind of a slutty move. I was embarrassed for her. Embarrassed. Just because, I mean, come on. You're throwing yourself out there, Adam, basically saying, come to mama, I'm easy. Rebecca looks like she's been around the block and back and back again, and then some for more. She looks hard up, she looks roughed up, she's unclassy. To uh, a great day and get to know a lot about all of you. Sweet. Um, very Coming up, who will Gary cut first? I'd really like to see Sharon cut. I don't think she's as exciting as the other girls. I think that Karen's gonna get cut because she's not at all Gary's type. I would really love to see Rebecca get cut. The girl is just way too trashy way too unclassy, and Gary doesn't like it either, I can see it. The person who really needs to go this round is Sharon. Obnoxious. Eliminate. <laughs> who do you think Gary will eliminate first? Rebecca, Aspasia, Karen, or Sharon? Well, ladies, I just want you to know I had an awesome time with all of you today. But you guys do know the name of the game. It is Eliminate, so I have to send one of you home. And it is with a very heavy heart that I have to send home the station. I'm sorry. Me? I'm sorry, baby. I can't believe you. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I just, you know. I can't believe you cut me. I mean, these girls, I was different, and you didn't want me. Fire's gonna be your intellectual soulmate, but okay. I feel sad. I'm shocked, actually. I can't believe you cut, that Gary cut me. The only way Astasia was different by her being a big old frump. That's the only way she was different from any of us. I don't think he's looking necessarily maybe for a soulmate. He's looking for fun, energy. Well, maybe she'll learn to dress a little bit more, you know, vivacious. I thought we had some sparks. Next round, we're gonna stay here at Jillian's. We're gonna try to get to know each other a little better, and maybe I can bring the wild side out of them a little bit. Course, I got a couple fun. of questions yeah, for you guys. Way, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Um, what's the craziest thing that you've done on a first date before? It wasn't crazy. Actually, it was a cool first date, but I wasn't interested in the person. But uh, we went to Earth, Wind & Fire concert, which I love Earth, Wind & Fire. She better really re-approach her idea of crazy, exciting adventure. What about you, Karen? I'm a dancing machine. Are you? Um, he was like, oh yeah, I had born about him at Shell. Had a great time finding the side of him, and now the guy's like, I don't dance, now he dances all the time. I thought that was crazy for me. On podiums, I'm not taking anything off or anything, but I'm going nuts. Speaking of taking things off, I, we gotta take that sweater. You want it off? Oh, shit! Right now? Get it off. <laughs> Should I make You're a personal trainer, we gotta see what you really got. Got. Really got. Throw it on me, let me see what you got. Now I feel like a pimp daddy. Yeah, you do, you do. Look like one. She finally did remove that bag, whatever it was she was wearing, but I think she should have left it on. When Karen finally took her sweater off, I thought, oh my God, this girl is a trainer. Oh, I'm Rebecca's wildest. I'm natural. Wildest. I've had very, very wild dates, but What's the I will tell you. I'm sure. <laughs> Do you want to know? <laughs> the most important thing I've ever done, period, was pose for Playboy magazine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Playboy oh, magazine. Oh, oh. I don't know what kind of date that was, but obviously it was something that she was really wanting to let him know the whole night. Centerfold? So that was the most exciting thing you've ever done on a date? Was naked, you got naked? naked. No, that was the most exciting thing I've done, period. No, on a date. No, date. Why no, no, I know. I, I can tell you that was the most exciting thing. Right? Woo! You guys don't think she's oh, 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 oh. I would be embarrassed, humiliated, and mortified, but obviously she doesn't care about any of those things. I'm just so far from that. I think the body's a very special and beautiful thing, and I would never just show everybody. Uh, are those real, man? What? Are those real? Um, oh my god, are you kidding me? Yes. Can I? These are from Mama. <laughs> Can you? No, uh honey. She's got good goods. Her goods are good. Karen, <laughs> Rebecca grabbed them. She reached over and grabbed my boobs. Oh. Girl, all my boobs are not too. My boobs are real. They are? Yeah. 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 See, I don't need wow. to do that to get the... Nah, I'm really surprised. Good. Naturally, they are. Great.
because I honestly didn't think they were. That's why I kind of went down that route. Rebecca's breasts are very nice and very real. Let me ask you a question. You were grabbing the hands move, and I was just curious. Uh, Have you ever uh, been with a woman? This is odd. <laughs> to think that I am a lesbian because I'm not. Nothing against lesbians, but if you are one, declare it. Who will Gary cut next? I'm hoping it's Sharon that gets cut this round. Karen talks a lot of crap. She said she does this, she potty, she dances, she does this, she's good at sports. She hasn't shown us anything to prove that theory. I think she's going to be eliminated next. I think that Karen is going to get cut because, quite frankly, she's raggedy. Eliminate. Who is Gary going to eliminate next? Sharon, Karen, or Rebecca? You do know the name of the game. It is... Eliminate! So, unfortunately, I really need to say bye, Karen. I'm sorry, baby. Why? You are... You got a great personality, baby, but I was just thinking that um, I had to narrow it down. It was a tough decision. I'm right. sorry, honey. I'm a real woman. I don't know about these other two that he's going to be with, but if that's what he's looking for, then obviously we're meant to match. Just in terms of my taste I, and, and the wild side that Rebecca and Sharon showed is just a little bit more what I'm looking for. And I'm surprised it didn't happen the first round, but it did happen, and it wasn't a surprise at all. I knew he was going to eliminate her. She's totally not his type. I saw that coming a mile away, and I know that he'll decide that he wants me at the end of the side. You'll see. To um, Sharon, our lovely lesbian, and Rebecca, our porn star, good luck to you. Have a good time. Take the ladies to Bill's Bar. It's a hot spot here on Lansdowne Street. The key to this last round for me is gonna be basically who really wants me more. Do you guys have like dating rules? Do you have dating rules? Yes. Give me what are some examples of your rules? First date, they don't come in my apartment. Second date, they don't come in my apartment. Third date, they get to come in my apartment. That's just to, to come in and hang out and watch TV, rent a movie. I don't see what the big deal is about bringing a gentleman into your apartment on the first date. If he wasn't a gentleman, then why are you going out with him anyway? I have rules. dating rules, what yes. Do you got? I do not kiss on the first date, nor do I go to a movie on the first date. You don't kiss on the first date? No, I don't. You liar. I do not. <sighs> I do not kiss on the first date. You don't? No, I absolutely do not. That sounds and like I'm, a challenge. I, I may not kiss on the second date. I decided it was a perfect opportunity to introduce the ladies to body shots. Have you ever done a body shot? Yes. Have you ever done a body no. shot? Mm -mm. So that's good then. So maybe we should do that. I'm going to order a few. Gary wanted to introduce me to the body shots before he introduced her to the body shots. You got to lie down. No problem. <laughs> like this? That's not bad. All that lemon right there. And then bunch get in here. Oh Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, don't stop. Keep going. Mm. Oh, but she wouldn't kiss you on a first date. Ah! <laughs> you got a little lemon juice chaser there. Mm. Sorry, but you tell somebody you're a playboy, you wear a veiling shirt like that, but you don't kiss, and then you go and kiss, you're a liar and a hypocrite, and it totally showed. That's not really considered Woo! a kiss on the first date, though. <laughs> that was a body shot. Mm. That was a hell of a body shot. I haven't done this in a long time. High school, I'm 10 years. I'm you back to that. All right. I have to compare you guys when you're as body shot props. Damn. Is that a tattoo? Uh, all right. Tattoo. <laughs> so the whole time I felt like we were bonding, and that felt wonderful. 
His kiss was unreal, his touch was sensuous, and I loved it. It was phenomenal. What are you doing, you? I said, why not you? You know, of course, Gary had to, you know, go through with it and show Sharon how it was done, too, but I took every liberty. Rebecca got a little rambunctious and actually grabbed me and pulled me away and started making out with me. All right, he wasn't done with my body shot. <laughs> I was like, what a bitch. It's my turn. Back off and stop it. Sharon, you ever done a body shot off a woman before? No. I'd like to see that. You want me to do that? Yeah. Why do you want me to do it? I was just thinking <laughs> about how we talked about you know, you have She has well, it was a one shot. Yeah. She has that lens. You, you've been with a woman before too, though. Mm -mm, no, I have not. Never. Mm -mm. Actually, then I want to see you do a body shot off of her. Okay, but I, I've never done that. I don't know how. You got to do exactly what I did. Uh, so I have to kiss her. I thought, oh god, her. Sharon does have a great body. I've never done it before. I'm up to try anything. I'm adventurous. Then you gotta squeeze the lemon juice in her mouth. Oh! <laughs> you gotta go get the juice. Now you gotta go get the juice. I have to suck the juice out of her mouth. Ah! Uh. I was so hot, I was on fire, and he loved it. It got a little wild and a lot crazy. You could say I was a very happy camper. Will it be Sharon or Rebecca? Gary's final cut is next. A limit day. <laughs> well, girls, we've come to the end of a really great day and night. No man should be in the position that I'm in right now, having to choose between you two beautiful, amazing ladies. I have to say that Rebecca, I very, very much regret that I have to eliminate you. You kidding? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Why? Not <laughs> I'm sorry, sugar. Don't call me sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you can See have them. We look together. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I don't understand this at all. That's okay. <laughs> if you want her, fine. You can have them. Obviously, he has no ta taste and he has no class. Okay, well, that's fine because I have him anyways. <laughs> He's not at all as sophisticated as I thought he was. If he wants that trashy, hard, coarse girl, then he can have her. They can have each other. I just think that you worked a little harder than she did and you were just showing a little more interest than she did, so. Hard work pays off. Yes, it does. <laughs> I was just being myself. <laughs> nuts, nuts! Gary being a lawyer should have much better judgment than that. The verdict is out, Gary. You're a loser. <laughs> <laughs>